Hello, and welcome to Polaris version 2, the low poly terrain engine for Unity. In this video, I will guide you through the most basic thing about it. Polaris version 2, as known as Project Griffin, is a complete solution for creating stunning large scale stylized environment, especially built for Unity developer. This is a must have asset which saves you thousands hours of work and tons of effort, give you more time and resources to focus on other aspects of your game. To get Polaris, go to the Unity Asset Store. To get the free evaluation package, go to pinwheel.studio, slash, Polaris 2, dash, evaluation. Okay, let's talk a little bit about its main structure. Every terrain in a scene consists of two parts. The terrain component and the terrain data asset. The terrain component responsible for utilize its data and create the actual terrain. Terrain editing tools are not combined with the terrain component. They are built as separate components and only mean to modify terrain data. There are some pre-made tools for you to use. Geometry and Texture Painter. Sculpt geometry and paint color, metallic, smoothness, splats, etc. onto the surface. Foliage Painter. Paint trees and grasses. Spline. Create splines and do some tasks like make ramps, paint paths, clear foliage, etc. Geometry Stamper. Stamp features onto the surface geometry, using some basic math operations to blend the result like add, subtract, min, max, linear interpolation, etc. Texture Stamper. Stamp texture, color onto the surface, with additional procedural blending method like height-based, slope-based or noise. Foliage Stamper. Similar to Texture Stamper, but instead of stamping texture, it stamps trees and grasses. Griffin support a wide variety of shading styles, from geometry-based gradient lookup, albedo metallic, to splat map blending. To have your terrain shaded correctly, and the tools to work correctly, you have to pick the right material for it. There is a wizard tool to help you to do that, but we will talk about it later. Since Griffin supports for multi-terrain editing, some properties like splat textures and foliage prototypes are not bound to a single terrain. Instead they're configured in an asset object as a gallery, then that asset will be assigned to multiple terrain in the scene. Griffin provides a custom backup system to help you manage editing history better. From version 2.1.0, backup system also works seamlessly with Unity built-in undo system. While working with Griffin, sometimes you will face small issues which need to be solved instantly. Griffin comes with a handy help tool which let you search for solutions right in the editor. Instead of composing an email and wait days for respond, now you can have the answer instantly. Go to Window. Griffin. Learning Resources. Help to open it. Alright, that would cover most of the tool, hope it enough for you to figure out what is possible with it. See you in the next video.